So like, Hunter, uh, don't let this go to your head, but I think you're okay. You do? Yeah, uh, I mean, I see you trying to make me feel included, and I thought I should take a moment to thank you for not leaving me out. Caretaker makes me feel like a child sometimes, but you don't, so, like, thanks. Caretaker sees herself as the matriarch of this team, and as a maternal figure, she tends to be protective of her own. Ugh, seriously, Hunter? Are you suggesting she's just being overprotective of me? Or just protective. Gah, you know what? Never mind. I came out here to thank you for putting your trust in me, and I'm determined to keep it positive. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I see you making an effort to not make me feel like a complete reject, and I appreciate that. I need all the allies I can get on this apocalyptic reality show because I do not want to get voted out of this abbey or off this world. Reality show? Vote? Just try and not get eliminated, Hunter. Here's a weird question. <laughs> Do you, like, consider yourself to be a goth? What is a goth? It's a 20th century music and fashion subculture. Kinda hard to explain, but it's people who appreciate what others would see as dark or macabre. Like people who enjoy horror novels and films, and the sad, whiny music you and Magic listen to? <laughs> I feel called out. Figured since your mom is the mother of demons and all, you might, you know, identify with being goth too. No. I wish to be my own person. Separate from mom. I don't blame you. Not wanting to be like your parents is still a little goth, though. Or is it a little like you? Oh, you got me there, Hunter. I like the way I dress. I feel badass. You should. Plus, I think I'm stuck. Goth never dies. Hey. Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Why, hello, Hunter. Hunter, hello. Everything by the numbers. Stay out of trouble. See you soon. Oh, you are gonna love this. Got more coil for me? Analyzing it. This thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt? I'm... How does this look?
undivided attention. These were relatively common at Always a pleasure. Let's do this. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. Ready to work? Caretaker said I need to be a team player, so I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. We need any advantage we can get. Just give me a target. Just in case you were looking for another opportunity to even the score with Hydra, I think these clowns are hoping for a fight. Fair enough. Who's next? And I thought man thing was ugly. I think you got him. Isn't Dr. Faust's wanted for war crimes? Huh, you guys might be accessories, you know. given up yet. It appears that I'm their central focus. Let me show you. Just what this battle requires. Let's give it a go.
Watch closely. Even the mother of demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally. Interesting tactic. Good one. From a hard drop. Coming in. Serve her with honor. I hope you're ready. One for you. this. Just need to finish this. Their lesson, but we all know that 
that's wishful thinking. Hunter. Evil doers beware. You ever get in a horse chase? What is a horse chase? Like a car chase, but with horses. <gasps> Did you ever drift a horse? Maybe on a frozen lake or something? I had a horse with four trick knees. If I whistled a certain way, she would stop on a shilling and then run backwards. Oh, no way! What's a shilling? Does not matter. One time I caught a bug in my mouth mid-whistle. She stopped, gave me a sour look, and started running sideways. Oh, wow! Could she run sideways the other way? No, she was a three-speed. <laughs> I needed that. I know. I'd pay to see a sideways horse chase. Oh? How many shillings? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Always great to hang with you, Hunter. My abuela told me about the Aztec Skull Constellations. There are more than I thought. Hey, you, can we talk?